Welcome to the Paradise Paradox. I've just got a couple of ideas that I want to lay on you real quick. The other day I, I woke up from a dream. I was walking around uh, some neighborhood that I'm not familiar with and uh, out of nowhere I saw this kind of Native American like like we radical looking man uh, with the long curly hair down down like past his chest uh, and he was carrying this this little stringed instrument like a like a lute or something he called it a batar and uh, uh, and I was like oh that's really interesting like that the, that kind of thing doesn't normally happen and it's kind of uh, well if, if I'd been a little more on it I probably would have noticed I was in a dream but Here's the thing, time passes and then suddenly I'm at a table with about eight people um, outside in, in a, uh, like a Hare Krishna restaurant about to eat. The uh, Native American man is kind of across to me and to the left. To my left there's, a, there's another uh, Native American man and he, he started asking me, so why did you decide to move here of all places? And, and I started telling him, well, you know, um, there are things that don't happen in Australia, things that don't happen in, in my country. Like, for example, with your friend over here, um, just walking around, play, playing his instrument, coming out of nowhere. Around that moment, I, I, I woke up and I had this, this intense feeling like, wow, you know, isn't it amazing when, uh, when things kind of come, come out of nowhere, when the feeling of surprise catches you and there's, there's something glorious about that and I woke up close to tears thinking about it um, but even then I, I mean I can't quite capture the, the the feeling that I had I grabbed out my notebook and tried to think about ways to express this to communicate this to to you guys what I came up with was three exercises and they're divided like into difficulty levels so the first one easy mode is to look at things in a new way. Like say you're in your office building or you're wandering around near your work in your, in your home, uh, in your apartment building, and think about it, trying to look at it with new eyes, as if uh, you've never seen this thing before. Wonder if you could have imagined such a thing if you'd never seen it before. Here's another exercise. This is from Keith Johnston's uh, Impro. Uh, where he describes uh, walking around a room and you look at something, so you, you look at, for example, this cup and you call it a chiziwaza, or you look at this, uh, this uh, phone battery and you call it a uh, mumble duck, or you, know, you look at your keys and, and call them a, 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 a Chelton Hall or something like that. Uh, after about a minute or two minutes of doing that, you start to feel intensely in the moment and uh, you'll feel like, yes, you're looking at things with new eyes. If you look at someone's face who, whom you've known for a very long time, you'll probably notice all these details about their face that, that you haven't seen because you haven't really looked at them because your mind has been like consumed by, by uh, labels or, or something like that. Like you've got this overlay of reality, but that's, this exercise just strips it down. So that's easy mode. Uh, <laughs> so try that, especially when you're doing this this uh, Johnston uh, uh, technique. Uh, walk around and say say the things out loud and point to them, because um, that that really helps. It helps you get out of your out of your mind. Um, medium mode is when um, you're looking at things in this way, in this kind of meditative, uh, fresh eyes perspective. And you see someone doing something and maybe it's something you've seen them do a million times or maybe it's something you've never noticed people do a million times or maybe it's something that some someone is doing uh, and you've never seen it before. What I'd like you to do is uh, thank that person for doing that thing. Um, maybe um, you, you see someone as a bricklayer do, doing something and you realize that this guy has had thousands of hours of, of skill doing this and and so he do, does it with just just seems like it's it's nothing um, but there's all this uh, all this magic behind it um, so reach out and, and thank that person or you know your wife uh, maybe ma makes you lunch and maybe she always makes you lunch and you say hey you know it's really great that you do this uh, I, I appreciate it so much it's it's such a great gift 
to me. Um, hard mode is when you try to generate that moment for somebody else. So maybe you pick, pick up your own guitar or lute and walk out to the streets and start strumming and, and singing a song and, and people are going to stop and say, hey, am I in a dream right now? <laughs> what is going on? What is this magic? This, this spontaneity and where did this come from? How can, how can this be real life right now? Um, and it's, it's going to um, introduce the idea that yes, maybe you're in a dream, maybe anything is, is possible. And maybe you are, maybe it is. Uh, so those are, those are three little exercises. I hope you get something out of them. Try them out, have, have a little fun with them. And I hope you make the world a little more dreamlike, a little more special and magical for those around you. Uh, thanks so much for listening. Kurt Robinson signing off The Paradise Paradox. Check out our website, theparadiseparadox.com. Peace out. Whew.